Greetings and welcome back to the Galley of the Sun. Today, yet another episode in our wide world of food. Today we're traveling to Brazil, the largest country in South America, the fifth largest country area-wise in the entire world, and the seventh largest population-wise with a population of just over 217 million people. Not only do they have a fantastic cuisine down there, heavily influenced by a mixture of the indigenous people and Portuguese, there's an influence of many other European cultures, French, Spanish, etc. Also some Asian cultures, including Japan. Absolutely fantastic cuisine down there. Also, uh, Brazil is the leading exporter of coffee. Over 28% of the coffee consumed on the entire planet comes from Brazil. So it's a very, very important place. So what we're doing today is Brazilian tri-tip. So we've done other episodes on tri-tips before. You know we love the tri-tip. Also, we're going to top it at the end with some red chimichurri. And chimichurri is probably the most popular condiment in all of Brazil. Absolutely amazing stuff. We made the chimichurri last night. I've done it before on a short video, which you can see right here. And also, we got our tri-tip marinating in this incredible Brazilian marinade last night so it could get those flavors melding throughout the entire night. And this is what it looked like. Alrighty, here we are on Brazilian tri-tip eve. If you wish to eat great tomorrow, you must do a little bit today. And that's what we're doing. Let's put together that marinade that is gonna turn this two pound American Wagyu tri-tip into a Brazilian tri-tip, a delicious Brazilian tri-tip. So as always here at the Galley of the Sun, all of the amounts are down below along with the directions in the description area. I'm gonna do my best to remember what amounts I have out here, but be safe, use that down there. All right, so get yourself a one gallon Ziploc bag. In that one gallon Ziploc bag, you're gonna put the following to make this incredible marinade. One quarter cup of packed brown sugar, one quarter cup of white sugar, one half cup of lemon juice. And really, lemon juice is used a lot in Brazilian cooking, especially with beef. One half cup of veggie oil, couple minced garlic cloves, two tablespoons of salt, two tablespoons of pepper, two tablespoons of soy sauce, and one half teaspoon of onion powder. Now we're gonna seal our bag, get all that mixed together. Make sure you don't have any big lumps in there. Depends on how tightly you packed your brown sugar. May have to shake the crap out of this. I think we're there. So then, oh. That is smelling good. Into that goes our two pound American Wagyu tri-tip. You don't have to use American Wagyu. You can use Prime if you want to. You don't have to use Prime either. Uh, choice will taste fine with this. Uh, tri-tip already is absolutely delicious. We're just adding some uh, fantastic marinade to it. Uh, the higher grade you have, the more marbled fat you're gonna have. So it is gonna be a little bit more tender and uh, We've done some experiments in the past, American Wagyu versus uh, USDA Prime. And it's, it's interesting, for different cuts, one of the two will taste more beefy than the other. We haven't quite figured that out, but uh, every one of them has been delicious, both the Prime and the American Wagyu. And we have done tri-tip videos before where we use just regular uh, USDA Choice, and they've been great too. All right, so get your uh, tri-tip in there, make sure it's submerged, put it in your refrigerator in a way that's gonna keep this thing submerged. Um, maybe I don't wanna keep it like this because you can see that top part doesn't have it. If I set it on the side, then it might run uh, away from the meat and then the top's not gonna get that. So basically, if, if you take it, get that covered and then fold the bag over. That's probably the best leaving that fold on the top. So figure out a way to tuck that to leave it like it. All right, this is gonna set overnight. Then we are going to uh, cook it up tomorrow. We'll see you then. So we're gonna take our tri-tip out of that marinade and the nature in which we put that bag in that plate did do a good job of keeping the entire 
tri-tip smothered with that incredible stuff. We're gonna put that on our baking sheet here with some paper towels and get it dry. We're not gonna rub off all this wonderful stuff on the outside and we're not gonna drop it because it's not slippery. We're just gonna pat that dry and then get it ready for the next step, which is the rub. So let's get to making that Brazilian rub. To make that rub, we're gonna get a plastic bag. In that plastic bag, we're gonna put one quarter of a cup of kosher salt, two tablespoons of brown sugar, a tablespoon of black pepper, a tablespoon of chili powder. I chose to use chipotle. You can use regular, you can use guajillo. A tablespoon of smoked paprika, one and a half teaspoons of garlic powder, one and a half teaspoons of onion powder, one teaspoon of thyme, one and a half teaspoons of cumin, and just a pinch of nutmeg. Got that all in our bag here, so what we don't use today, we can use later on something else. Get all that mixed up well. Remember to check for lumps if you uh, packed your brown sugar, which you should. You should never leave home without it. We're looking good and homogenous there. Now, we're going to lightly, because there are plenty of spices left over from that uh, marinade that we used last night, so I'm gonna lightly coat this with this rub. All right, get the other side. Figure out how to not put our contaminated hand into our rub. I found I have another hand. There we go. I'm sure that was done as gracefully as it could have been. I have my Yoder YS 640 pellet grill set to 225 degrees. We're gonna cook this on the top shelf indirect for about two hours. We're looking for an internal temperature of around 125-ish, and then when we bring it in and let it rest for about 30 minutes, it's gonna drift up to that medium rare temperature that we want. So I'm gonna go get this on the grill. Let's do it. Ah, uh, it is a gorgeous day here in the Valley of the Sun. Our smoker is up to temperature. Let's get that tri-tip on. So we're gonna get that on the top shelf away from the heat over here and let that go for about two hours. All right, we'll see you when it's time to pull it off. All right, so it's been about an hour and a half and it is ready to come off and it is absolutely gorgeous. All right, there we go. We're gonna take that, get it inside, wrap it in foil, and let it rest. And then we're gonna chomp on it. All right, so the tri-tip's been resting. Let's give this a try. The director has been gnawing at my leg and doing other things that uh, we can't talk about in this video where we get demonetized. So let's get her fed and see how we did. Now remember, this is Brazilian tri-tip, but there's only one of them. There's not a Brazilian of them. So I don't, I don't have room for that. Okay, so what you wanna do is get your tri-tip out, and then you're gonna cut it against the grain. So you gotta take a good look at it, figure out which way the grain's going. It's going that way. So it's going that way, so we need to cut it against the grain. So we'll get some of those cut up for the director here. We'll check and make sure we haven't screwed up. It looks like we haven't. Ah, we're looking good. Now, despite her attitude, she doesn't eat a whole lot, so I don't need to get a whole lot here. You would think that honoring us, she would eat a lot more, but she really doesn't. Gotta get it plated up, because she's very particular. I'm probably gonna be in trouble. Oh well, that's fine. Won't be the first time. Won't be the last. Say this one for me, but you know I'm gonna say it's great because I cooked it, right? Get her a little bit of red chimichurri off to the side, the condiment of Brazil. Okay, chimichurri is the condiment of Brazil. Um, the red, I just think it's better. I really do. Did a short video on Brazilian potato salad. You can see it there. I put some of that on there. Oh, 
All right, we're gonna get this uh, cleaned up and then get the director in here and give it a try. As the director works on the thumbnails, hey, if you like what you saw today, make sure you hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button and never miss an episode. Hit the bell and get notifications. You know, in a previous video, uh, we asked, should you see more of the director, less of the director? Should you see the director dressed up as something like a sunflower? And right now, dressed as a sunflower is leading. So put that down in the comments. Uh, we'd love to know. Don't encourage him. Encourage me. I need encouragement. Because the director's a hard ass. Now I have to check that button when I submit this that I said a cuss word. Great. All right, armed with her utensils, the director is ready to render judgment. All right, she's going for the red chimichurri. She's going for the tri-tip. Survey says. Good. Got a little bit of a bite. We're good. Well, try that without the red chimichurri. I, I tried a little bite there and I didn't think it had a bite itself. The red chimichurri has chipotle in it, so. Yes. Okay, so the bites are of the chimichurri. So if you're worried about spice, this uh, Brazilian tri-tip is gonna do you great. It is absolutely delicious. The red chimichurri, yeah, it has some chipotles in there. Um, Not bad. But uh, yeah, it's good stuff. All right, hey, thank you so much for joining us. And until we see you next time, fair winds and following seas.